In the remote corners of the Iberian Peninsula and the vast southern lands of America, a heartbreaking cataclysm will resound. Mirjana Presta's statements, invested with divine authority, call for the attention of those seeking spiritual truth. The locality that will witness this seismic upheaval and, even more significantly, the precise day on which this tragic event will unfold, deserve deep reflection, as the sun withdrew behind the towering peaks of the mountains of Medjugorje, casting a haunting shadow over the tiny village, Miriana, the custodian of divine communications, advanced along the dusty path. The wind danced with the folds of her white attire, and the twilight light conferred a halo of mysticism. However, the burden of her visions imprinted signs of concern on her countenance, Miriana, fervently devoted to her divine mission throughout her earthly journey, was moved by a vision of apocalyptic proportions. She settled on a solitary rock, the gentle breeze lightened the atmosphere, but it failed to calm the storm raging within her. The vision, like a celestial thunderclap, unfolded clearly and terrifyingly, a catastrophic earthquake would strike South America and Spain, an apocalyptic event that would topple structures and unleash uncontrollable natural forces, Miriana was shaken, at the crossroads between the certainty of her sacred mission and the uncertainty of whether the vision could be a creation of her tormented mind. Voices began to circulate like the breath that lifts the sand in a vast desert. Miriana chose to share her vision with friends and loved ones, seeking relief and guidance. The response was diverse, like a fresco in which brightness and shadow rival on the tapestry of existence. Some viewed her as a sacred seer, a divine channel, while others repudiated her, refusing to accept a revelation lacking scientific or geological foundations. The dividing line between sanctity and madness seemed to blur, as if the truth resided in an unknown dimension. News of Miriana's vision spread rapidly, like a fire spreading through the underbrush, spreading its spiritual glow everywhere, fear and unease infiltrated the community like dark shadows that lengthen with the arrival of night. Temples were filled with devout believers, pleading for divine mercy, while skeptics and rationalists raised their eyebrows with distrust, questioning the authenticity of a prophecy devoid of scientific basis. In South America, the atmosphere became increasingly charged. Miriana's prophecy created a divisive gap between faith and reason, between those who embraced the vision as a sacred message and those who dismissed it as a baseless chimera. Authorities sought to maintain harmony, but they too were divided. Some joined in prayers and religious rituals, persuaded of the divine truth, while others, more pragmatic, sought to appease the population by highlighting the lack of scientific evidence, ecclesiastical representatives interpreted the vision differently, adding a surreal and unsettling dimension to the country's atmosphere. Some prelates embraced it as a symbol from the divine beings. A celestial warning that should be taken seriously. Others, however, viewed the vision as a dangerous deviation from traditional doctrine, a heresy disguised under the appearance of sacred manifestation, in public spaces and thoroughfares, the community immersed itself in reflection on the inescapable path of destiny. Fear intertwined with anticipation as Miriana's prophecy cast a broad shadow over the communal spirit. Desires morphed into terrifying visions, and nights became saturated with pleas and weeping. The ground beneath their feet acquired an unprecedented fragility, and the firmament that once exuded serenity now plunged into disquieting darkness. In the core of the storm, Miriana grappled with the weight of her revelation. Each step on the consecrated ground brought her closer to the abyss of uncertainty. Faith and bewilderment danced in her heart like shadows vying for supremacy in this supernatural stage. South America and Spain transformed into the backdrop of a cosmic drama, with human actors oscillating between devotion and reason, expectation and despair, 
humanity awaited with anticipation. Questioning whether the prediction would materialize or dissipate in the breeze of disbelief. The fate of entire nations hung in the balance, influenced by imperceptible forces. The eyes of the globe turned to Miriana, the custodian of divine messages, while her soul faced the tempest of her own revelations, as the sun set behind the elevations of Megagorge, the enigma surrounding the prophecy intensified, shrouding humanity in a veil of perplexity and longing. Days passed slowly, wrapped in a silence that seemed to heighten anticipation. The world held its breath as South America and Spain, the settings of this apocalyptic vision, found themselves under the shadow of ambiguity. Tension palpably rose in the atmosphere, like the electricity preceding a storm. Miriana, immersed in her spiritual retreat, persisted in seeking answers in the silence enveloping the hills of Megagorge. Her devotion, once a steadfast fortress against the storms of existence, wavered like a flame exposed to the wind. Uncertainty slithered into her thoughts like a sinuous snake, entwining around her mind with its poisonous presence. In moments of vigil, Miriana was immersed in visions, striving to unravel the thread of truth from the darkness that enveloped them. The boundary between the divine and the mundane became increasingly subtle, and the prophecy that had shaken the world seemed to reflect itself in the innermost recesses of her being, meanwhile, temples transformed into havens of prayer and discouragement. Devotees from various places sought solace in ancient rituals and prayers lifted towards the sky. In contrast, unbelievers continued to label the prophecy as a chimera, rejecting the notion that the destiny of entire nations could be predestined by a supposedly transcendental vision, rulers, torn between managing the situation and preserving public tranquility, struggled to maintain harmony. In South America, the population deserted coastal cities in search of refuge in the interior territories, while precautions related to seismic movements were strengthened in Spain, the earth, usually firm and secure, now trembled under the weight of collective expectations and fears. In the heart of South America, the disparity between those who embraced the prophecy and those who repudiated it widened progressively. Streets became a battleground between devotion and unrest, taking root in the spirit of each individual, ecclesiastical hierarchies, in an effort to calm turbulent waters, orchestrated processions and sacred rituals in the hope of invoking divine protection. In the land of Spain, on the other hand, an otherworldly atmosphere prevailed. Scientific authorities endeavored to calm the population, emphasizing the lack of concrete evidence regarding an imminent catastrophic earthquake. However, fear persisted, fueled by Miriana's prophecy, which insinuated itself into dreams and everyday conversations. The world watched with inquisitive gazes, awaiting the materialization or dissipation of the prophecy. Media outlets amplified every meticulous detail, creating a whirlwind of conflicting information. Geologists and seismologists, divided between scientific rationality and the unpredictability of human nature, were at the center of heated debates, prominent ecclesiastical figures, in an effort to make sense of the prophecy, examined Mariana's revelations through ancient sacred texts and previous prophecies. Some perceived connections and symbols confirming the authenticity of her visions, while others adopted a more cautious stance, emphasizing the inevitable need to discern the spiritual. In the midst of this mystery, Miriana persisted in the search for the key to discern whether her vision was a divine gift or a cursed burden. Her once clear thinking, illuminated by faith, now became a somber enigma, lost in the shadows of the prediction, if you want to see more faith stories like this, type, I want it, down below in the comments. See you soon.